The craft and business of trapping fur-bearing animals goes back to the very beginning of Missouri's history. The first Europeans followed the rivers and tributaries deep into the unexplored wilderness in search of beaver and other pelts to take back east where there was a high market demand. Today, two centuries later, this practice continues. But the reasons for trapping have changed. Meet Mark Lawson and Bob Whitworth, 21st century trappers. There's no money in this. It's got to be because you enjoy it for the kicks and grins of it. And that's the reason most trappers do it anymore. You got one. Look like a grinner from here. <laughs> Even when they are successful, not every pelt is a keeper. He's not quite big enough. Well, in the possum line, color and size. There's the blacks and silvers. Uh, the silver possum is the one that's worth a little bit of money on the market, not a lot, but a little. A black possum is hardly worth nothing on the market. Yeah. Okay. You go home now, buddy. <laughs> Though it's not enough to make a living, Bob and Mark do take the furs they trap in season to market. Four, you know, four to buy four, sold them $3 on two, $3 on two, six head of 24 to 26. Percentage-wise, the raccoon end up, I think, in Russia. Most of them do. Hats and coats. A lot of the beaver, uh, Missouri beaver especially, is what they call hatters, and uh, they end up making probably Stetson hats out of most of the fur off of them. They, they shave them and make a pellet out of it. And the rest of it ends up in the, in the coat industry, I'm quite sure. Uh, you never see a skunk coat, but uh, they use them for tram and all that kind of stuff. So the coat manufacturers do. Maybe we'll have the critter caught. Okay, once we get down there. Declining populations of predators like wolves and large cats have caused the numbers of some fur-bearing animals to grow dramatically. So trappers play a new role in the 21st century, helping to control what are now considered nuisance animals. Bingo. Got a good one. Got a good one. Yeah. Bob was hired to trap and reduce the number of raccoons here at this conservation area near Kansas City. Since it is in season, he will legally harvest the animal and sell its pelt at auction. Come here, big boy. Most of it is yeah. raccoon problems, groundhog problems, moles. I do a lot of moles uh, in the spring. They were in muskrat's a big thing right now. Now, he's a big one. They're not real big, but big. And of course, in the wintertime, uh, when they're big enough, I keep the pelts, make the gas money. 